access is not just uh, accomplished in the city anymore. Um, you'll find more and more uh, rope access technicians plying their trade in the backcountry, in the mountains, doing rock scaling, dam inspection, bridge, ins bridge inspection. And what's going to happen eventually is that more mountain rescue teams are going to have to understand how rope access is done, how it's performed, and how to accomplish a rope access rescue. Um, this is because the techniques are much different than what you'll find for a typical climber who's stranded on a cliff face. Comparing and contrasting the gear worn by rope access technician versus that of the mountain rescuer, one thing that you'll find is that there's a lot more of it. Uh, the gear is typically going to be heavier and more uh, geared towards meeting an industrial standard such as uh, ANSI standards for gear for work at height. Uh, it follows that even the connectors are going to be heavier. You're going to find that most carabiners are auto locking and if they are compliant with ANSI Z359.1 2007, they will have a gate strength of 3,600 pounds, which of course is uh, much beefier than the traditional screw gate that's aluminum that you'll find on a mountain rescuer. Descenders as well, uh, a big difference here. Um, you won't find very many friction descenders on the rope access technician unless they're doing a long, long drop and they have uh, a brake bar or a brake rack. Mostly what they'll be using are auto locking descenders uh, such as the ID, the rig, or the prism, or there's many other ones out there. Um, but all of them rely on uh, the uh, rope access technician having the ability to go hands-free to do their work. Uh, another big difference, of course, is the full body harness. Uh, rope access technicians wear ANSI rated harnesses as well that are full body with uh, dorsal attachment points where they may be attached to the ropes uh, based on what type of rope grab they're using. Uh, speaking of rope grabs, Prussics aren't typically favored uh, in the rope access world. They're used uh, occasionally for hauling gear around, but more often than not, uh, rope access technicians will be using automatic rope grabs that uh, grab uh, once they're going up and down the rope or if they take a fall. When performing the rescue of a rope access technician, it's important to realize how they're actually attached to the both of the ropes that they're working on. Uh, one line will be considered your main line or working line. That typically has either a descender on it, which is an auto locker, or it may have uh, a set of ascenders, which is typically a handle descender and a chest descender used in conjunction to ascend the rope. The second point of attachment that they will have will be with a, their small lanyard or cow's tail to the second rope, which will be called the safety rope. That will typically have a rope grab which will uh, arrest their fall if their main line fails or if something goes wrong with their descent or uh, ascent systems. If the rope access technician is in their descender, rescue becomes much simpler in that you can just simply lower them from their device onto your system after they've been attached to you. If they're on their ascenders, that will complicate things a bit because what that means is they are weighted onto their ascenders and you cannot go down with them unless you somehow find a way to raise them off of their system first and then get them onto your system. This can be accomplished by a raise on the top if you're doing a top down lower. or if you're doing a pickoff style rescue on rappel, that means that the rescuer has a lot of work to do. They've got to find a way to rig up a small system to raise that rope access technician off of their main line and their ascenders and get their weight off before they can proceed with the rescue. In direct contrast to the small teams approach employed by Mountain Rescue, when a rope access technician sets out to rescue a coworker stranded on rope, they will undertake the task alone, often accessing the subject from below using the subject's rope. If the rope access technician suspects that the ropes were damaged by rock or in the course of a fall, they will have to set two new ropes. 
Rope access workers are trained to call 911 before they initiate a rescue, but to have the rescue completed before an outside rescue or EMS agency arrives. In place of prussics, the rope access technician performing a rescue will use mechanical ascenders and rope grabs, and level two and three technicians will have the gear and knowledge to raise the hanging subject off of their system using a mechanical advantage system that they alone set up and implement. Mountain rescuers will usually assign specific tasks to a small number of individuals. They will likely work from the top down to complete the rescue and rely on their own ropes since they may have no way to ascertain the condition of the subject's two ropes. In this particular scenario, all of the lowering and raising is done at the top, thereby freeing up the rescuer on rope and allowing him the flexibility to work with both hands free. Clear communication between the rescuer and the brake person above is essential to a successful mountain rescue of a rope access technician. Top, third man, attention, subject's orange rope and put it on the leg. The line between industrial rescue tools and techniques and mountain rescue tools and techniques is blurry as more and more rope access jobs are taking place in the backcountry. In the end, both mountain rescuers and rope access technicians can only benefit by gaining a better understanding of the tools and methods that each employs when attempting the rescue of a rope access technician.